Hi everyone, marhaba, this is Shariq and welcome to Globetrot with Arabic. This is going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson. I always say Lebanese Arabic, which means it's Levantine. The Levantine dialect is spoken in Lebanon, Jordan, Syria and Palestine. Before I begin, let me ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're finding my lessons useful. Also, if you're interested in watching shorter and more fun videos, you can follow me on Instagram because there you can break the ice while you're learning the Arabic language. Yalla, let's begin. Today I'm going to talk about the prepositions min and ala and how they can change the meaning of a sentence. I'm going to give you two examples. Uh, let's start uh, talking about jealousy. Okay? So if I say, for example, huwe bigar minni, huwe bigar minni, huwe bigar means he is jealous minni literally from me but if i want to translate this sentence really really literally literally i would be saying who will be literally he jealouses it's a verb but it makes no sense to you right because in english we use the adjective but in arabic we can use the verb who will be he is jealous but you're saying he jealouses minni from me from or of minni so who will be minni he is jealous of me or he in the feminine form, he betgar minni. He betgar minni. She is jealous of me. Again, you're literally saying she jealouses from me. Okay? So, who we bigar minni and he betgar minni. And if I want to say to someone, I am jealous of you, I can say, ana bgar, ana bgar, I am jealous, minnak, minnak from you, masculine, and minnik. If I'm saying it to a girl, Anna Brar Minnik, I am jealous of you. Nobody's gonna admit, but you know, Anna Brar Minnik or Anna Brar Minnak, I am jealous from you. You're saying it, and even more specifically, you're, I'm saying I jealous of you as a verb. So, who will be rar minni, he will be rar minni, or Anna Brar Minnak, if I'm saying it to a guy, and Anna Brar Minnik, if I'm saying it to a girl. Now, if I want to say to someone أنا بغار عليك okay, عليك If you break عليك down, it's على on and the ek sound in the end is you the object pronoun you, masculine عليك So I'm not saying عليك We merge them and we pronounce it عليك أنا بغار عليك And if I'm saying it to a girl, I say أنا بغار عليكي. So the ala and the ke, we pronounce it عليكي. I'm not saying ke. No, we merge them and it sounds like you're saying عليكي. Or you can say عليكي. The faster one would be عليكي. So أنا بغار عليك أنا بغار عليكي. When I say to a guy أنا بغار عليك I wouldn't be saying to him I'm jealous of you most probably I love him or he's my boyfriend, husband, whatever and you feel jealous over him maybe from someone else okay so it's like you're being protective over him so أنا بغار عليك in moderation okay so أنا بغار عليك if uh, you care for the person and you feel jealous because of you know some abnormal situations so أنا بغار عليك or أنا بغار عليك you can say it to a girl it's not like you are jealous of her but you are jealous maybe from someone else over her so that's the, the difference between using min and ala so if I say to someone أنا بغار منك, I would be saying I am jealous from you or of you and أنا بغار عليك, I'm jealous over you you can use it of course in the past tense if just once you just felt jealous over someone you can say أنا غرت أنا غرت in the past tense أنا غرت عليك I felt jealous over you something happened I don't know maybe like you know uh, some you were in a club and some situation happened and you really felt like mm, jealous over him from someone else you can say أنا غرت عليك or if you want to say it to a girl you can say أنا غرت عليك now I'm going to use uh, to be scared okay so if I say to someone, Anna, bref, Anna bref, I get scared. Anna bref, minnak, I get scared from you or of you. 
okay? So, Anna prev minnak, I get scared of you. Again, it's a verb. So, it's like you're using and you're saying, I scare, I scare from you, you know, of you. It's a verb in Arabic. So, Anna prev, you can also pronounce it Anna prav. In the Lebanese dialect, we can pronounce it Anna prev. So, Anna prav or Anna prev minnak, from you. I get scared of you. Or Anna prav minnu. I get scared of him. Anna prav minna. I get scared of her. But if I say it to someone that I care about and I say to him, Anna prav alayk, literally on you, I, am, I get scared over you as a verb. I, I scare over you, which means I'm scared over you. It doesn't mean I'm scared from the person. It means I worry about the person because I care about them. Prav alayk, you know, if I don't know. If uh, if um, someone drives really fast and their mom wants to say to them, you know, uh, don't drive fast. Matsu upsirha, matsu upsirha, prafalik. I worry about you. Okay. So if you want to say to someone, I worry about you, you can say praf or prev. It's the same. Praf alik. If it's a guy, praf alik. If it's a girl, and if it's one time, you want to say like, I got worried. I got worried about you. Because something happened and you want to use it in the past tense, you can say Anna khift. Anna khift alayk. Because it's a short verb, it's a short syllable, one syllable, khift. You can add the a uh sound to make it easier to pronounce. So you can say khift instead of khift. Anna khift alayk. I got scared over you, which means I got worried about you. Or Anna khift alayk. I got worried that something is going to happen to you. I got worried about you. Anna khift alayk. And of course, you can say, I got scared of you in the past. Anna khift minnak, I got scared of you. Or Anna khift minnik, I got scared of you. So that's it for today. These are just two examples for you to use the prepositions min and ala in two different situations. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.